Hi, I'm Charity. Hi, I'm Emma. And this is Creative Kids. Today, we're going to be making scrunchies. So to do this activity, you're going to need one piece of fabric that you've cut to be three and a half inches by 22 inches. You're gonna need a needle, some thread, a safety pin, a piece of elastic that's about a quarter of an inch. Um, this one I've cut to be nine inches long. You're going to need um, some scissors so that you can make sure you get everything cut up and then also some straight pins to hold the fabric together. All right, so Emma, are we ready to go? Yeah. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fabric and you're gonna flip it right side up. Got it? Okay, then you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it in half, matching up the edges. Can you do that? Make sure you get it nice and straight. All right, so then you're gonna take your straight pins and you're gonna put them through both pieces of sides of the fabric to where it can be held together. This is gonna keep our fabric from moving around when we're sewing. Okay, I'll get mine done and then I can help you, okay? So you can ask a grown-up if you need help. Um, I'm here with Emma to make sure that if she needs any help cutting or using her straight pins, that she's all set. All right, so there you go. So it helps if you hold the fabric down while you're putting it together. Okay. Can you get that in there? There you go. Can I get one more pin? There we go. You can choose any kind of fabric you want for this. Um, you could find velvet, you could do satin, you can find any sort of fun print. Um, Emma's picked out some purple unicorns that glow in the dark today. And I have some Alice in Wonderland fabric. All right, so our next step in the process is we're going to take our needle and thread and we've already put the thread on ours, um, but all you have to do is take one side of the thread and feed it through the eye of the needle, and then make sure you have both sides tied together at the end. So now, what you're gonna do is, do you see the open end of your fabric here that has the two pieces that are not connected? You're gonna take that side and you're gonna start going in and out. So how I do it, so I go from the bottom first, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're stitching about a quarter of an inch from the side. So you go up and then put it down here like this, just a little bit. And why don't you watch me for a second and then you can see how you do it too, okay? And then we're gonna go in and out, up and down, up and down. until we have it all completely pieced. All right, so this is gonna take up the most time of your crafting today. Um, it takes a while to stitch this long of a strip. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get ours put all together and we'll be right back in just a minute. All right, are you all finished making your straight edge? Okay, so at this point, we're gonna move on to the next step and that is to take out these pins. So go ahead and remove each of them be careful not to poke yourself. Okay, so at this point you should have um, basically what's kind of like a tube like this. And we are going to work on flipping the fabric to where you have the right side out. So that sometimes it's a little hard. Um, they even make special tools in sewing to, to make this happen. But you're just gonna kind of pinch the fabric and slowly work it to where you're flipping it back out. Because you don't want the wrong side out for your scrunchie. Okay, so I've got mine all done. I'll help you with yours in just no, a second. No, I want it. Me do it. Okay. So now you can, um, to make it easier, you can actually have a mom or dad iron this so that it's a nice flat piece of fabric. Or you can just keep it like this. It really doesn't matter. Um, 
I like to iron it just because it kind of makes the seams a little easier to get through, but we'll just leave it like this. Why don't you go ahead and get your safety pin and your piece of elastic. So what you're going to do is you're going to attach the safety pin to the very end of the elastic. And the safety pin doesn't stay on the elastic. It's only there to help guide it through the fabric. All right, so I'll get my safety pin on my elastic. You can go ahead and start putting your elastic and safety pin through your scrunchie. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to, <laughs> excuse you, um, is I like to take this safety pin and you kind of use the, your fingers on your other hand to kind of weave it through. You can feel the safety pin all the way through. You see how I'm doing that? I'm kind of inching it along and just gathering it up. The one thing you gotta make sure you don't do is lose this end because if you lose this end it'll just go all the way through the tube and then all that work was for nothing so hold on to this end can you do that okay take the safety pin okay and then you're gonna work it through see how I'm doing that mm -hmm. I'll help you once I'm done with mine but you can see if you can do it on your own all right, so once we have our elastic all the way through our scrunchie, you can go ahead and attach the safety pin on the other side, just so that you don't lose it, um, lose the elastic, because it's gonna make it really hard to do it again. So I like to attach it just so it's put together. Okay, so we've got the beginnings of our scrunchie. And now that we have our scrunchie, or elastic all the way through, we're going to sew the pieces together. So the first thing you're gonna do is sew the elastic together. So make sure you have your needle and thread and that you've put some thread on there and tied the end. Did you have the, the end knotted? Okay. No. Oh, let's see. It's knotted, it's knotted, okay. So you're gonna hold on to each side of the elastic. You can take your safety pin out now. Don't lose your elastic. And you're gonna overlap the pieces. Ow, careful. You're gonna take your needle and pull it through each yeah. piece of the elastic. See, watch how I'm doing it. This is gonna make it so that when you're opening and closing and stretching out your scrunchie, lots and lots of times as you put it in your hair or wear it around your wrist, um, that it's gonna stay put together and not come apart. Okay, I think that's probably good. So I'm gonna tie the end off, make sure that it's got a nice knot in it so it stays tied. Okay. I'm gonna cut the needle and the thread off of there. So after you've gotten it sewn, the elastic on the inside, you're gonna take the top piece here and you're gonna kind of flip the top edge inside so that you have a nice um, finished edge so that there's no rough seam there. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And then you're gonna take one end and you're gonna feed it into the other to make it so you have a closed loop. Okay, so from here, you're going to sew both sides together. You can do a nice straight line, um, or you can sew it around. It's easiest just to sew straight through to the elastic as well, and then you'll have your scrunchie. So we'll get our needle and thread set up, and we'll be right back to finish up our On to the final step of our scrunchies. Okay, so we have attached our elastic and we have taken both sides and we've fed one into the other. So right now, I am ready to sew these two pieces together. So we have a nice finished scrunchie. So I'm gonna take my needle and thread and we're going to go up through the top piece of fabric and we're just gonna kinda go around. Or like I said, you can just do it in a straight line doesn't really matter, kind of whatever your preference is. It's a lot of fabric just to sew through, so it takes a little bit. 
all we're doing is trying to make sure that the pieces don't kind of move around for us. Okay, how's yours coming? Good. Good. All right, I am almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and do my last stitch here. Oops, I got a little knot. It's okay if you get a knot, not a big deal. And I'm going to tie it off so that I have a finished edge. Cut off the excess thread. And there we have it, a completed scrunchie. Thank you for joining us for our Creative Kids today, and we will see you next time.